Hey everybody, this is Dr. Adam Rindy, Sound and Grid of Health in Bellevue, Washington. I'm talking today about the Migrating Motor Complex. What is the Migrating Motor Complex? This is an interdigestive process that takes place in the fasted state that's innate to your digestive system. The Migrating Motor Complex is really important in the conditions such as irritable bowel syndrome and other digestive disorders that are functional. When the migrating motor complex is not functioning properly, we see increased incidence of small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, or just in, in general, small intestinal microbial overgrowth. So the small intestine will accumulate undigested proteins, excess bacterial load that's hanging around in the upper intestine, which leads to um, problems with gas, bloating, and motility. So one of the things I talked about my, with my patients is to nourish the migrating motor complex by healthy meal spacing. Meal spacing is taking between three and four hours between meals. Um, so having a three to four hour gut rest between eating where the only consumption can be non-caloric beverages such as water or some herbal teas. This will help the gut process the last meal and stimulate the migrating motor complex to flush the upper intestine of excess bacterial loads and excess undigested food particles. When we have disrupted migrating motor complex function, we see worsened bloating, gas, and irritable bowel symptoms. So something is, is seemingly harmful as raising behaviors may actually be making the digestive process worse. So to give this uh, a, a thought and, and discuss this with your provider um, or drop me some questions here and I'll be happy to, to talk to you more about the migrating motor complex. Just to be clear, this is different than your, your normal um, kind of uh, peristalsis process that takes place when the digestive undigested food is is moved through the small intestine with the smooth muscle system. This is something that happens in the fasted state only. If you graze, have calories between meals, don't take at least two to three, sorry, three to four hours break between meals, then you're likely to be disrupting this process. I've seen in my practice a 40% reduction in SIBO symptoms just by this move alone. Um, I hope everybody gives this uh, a thought and discuss this with your provider. Thank you so much and have a good day.